We feel so lit up and alive when we're working on something bigger than ourselves. It gets to be a very fun, playful self-exploration. Make your vision bigger. Compare like 2018 Thailand Alicia and 2024 Mexico Alicia. We're in totally different realities. Welcome back to part two of how to change your identity. I am Alicia Rep, an executive coach for personal brands looking to grow and scale. So let's dive right in. The first part, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description. This is gonna be a really deep series, right? Because I know you have a vision. And that's what brings me to this piece of identity work. I do believe that vision is such an important part of identity, right? Because when you have a vision, you have a direction. And when you have a direction, you know who you are. It's so different filming for YouTube than it is being on a live stream. I used to be the live stream queen. I would go live every single day, riff and educate and train and share on topics. And now coming to YouTube is interesting because it's a different platform, a different format, and I'm just, you know, finding my way within it all. Vision and identity are so connected. I believe we all experience our future vision differently, right? We have a different vision for our futures and how you perceive that is unique to you, right? So six or more different ways. I have six listed here. So some people see it, some people feel it, some people know it, some people hear it, some people sense it, and some people imagine it, right? And you might be a mix of the two, right? Like for me, I'm highly kinesthetic and I get these like big flash hits of knowing. I'm a splenic authority in human design, right? So I feel my way through reality and I'll get my splenic hits of clarity and that brings the knowingness, right? So that's how I perceive my future vision. But I, I feel like the people in my world, we are big feelers, right? We feel so much. We feel our big future, we feel our big vision, and we can't always put it into words, right? It's not always meant to be put into words, right? But there may be a few specific things you know, like you know you're gonna buy a house, or you know you're gonna buy a land, or you know you want to take a certain trip, or you know you need to take this specific class, right? Like we have these knowingnesses, whether that's like a cognitive knowingness or just like a feeling knowingness, right? But then beyond that, we have this big feeling inside of us and we know that that feeling is our vision, right? And then when certain things land in our lives, we're like, whoa, that was the thing. That was one of the pieces of the things I've been feeling for the vision, right? And it all just starts to um, puzzle itself together and, and make sense in hindsight, right? So I wanted to talk about that because if, if that's how you perceive your vision, that is totally amazing and you don't need to change yourself. This comes back to what we talked about in part one around building in trust, self-trust. So can you trust yourself in knowing what specifics you're moving towards and knowing which feelings you're moving with in your day-to-day -day life and your reality and knowing that everything is gonna fall into place better than ever and trusting that, having faith in that and doing your aligned actions every single day towards it, right? Being a brand with a vision and also being a conscious creator in your reality, right? How important is it to be really connected to your vision? Like, can you notice, let's just have a reflection here for a second. Can you notice in times when your vision was clearer, it doesn't have to be crystal clear, but like clearer, you either saw it, felt it, knew it, heard it, sensed it, imagined it, right? And then your day to day just felt 
on purpose, in flow, things pieced together, right? And you knew who you were. And even in those challenging moments, you could show up very powerfully, right? That is one aspect of it, right? So now let's think about a, new, a different experience. Maybe there's a time in your life where your vision wasn't as clear. It was a little muggy, muddy, a little foggy. Maybe you weren't as clear. And then, you know, sometimes in those states, even like waking up feels like effort, right? Waking up, getting out of bed, knowing what to do, just feeling like it's all a slog, right? So this is the reality you don't want to find yourself in. And by that, I mean, it's human to get there, but let's build the tools so that you can remain aligned to your vision. Let's build the toolkit internally and externally so you know how to move in the world, move in your life, where you create a lifestyle that's perpetuating the vision that you want for your life and the person that you want to become, right? So for an example, like I prioritize really slow, calm mornings and I know when I do this, I can show up my best for the rest of the world, right? And so this morning I had a nice slow morning, woke up without an alarm clock. I enjoyed my coffee on the couch, watching this flock of eight little parrot birds flying around the tree canopies um, from my balcony. And then, you know, did a really nice two hour workout at the gym, just like getting back into flow in Mexico here. And while I was on the treadmill for, I think it was 40, 45 minutes, I wrote a really beautiful, heartfelt, long-form Facebook post about the business model of personal brands. And the thing is, I'm sharing all this because like, I designed that reality. That wasn't always my reality. I used to wake up, like in 2018, we were living in Thailand. I used to wake up first thing and just like, get to my computer and like smash out a, a daily, blog style post and put it on Facebook, right? And, but it, it was like a stressful thing because I was like almost like forcing myself, right? But I found joy in the writing, but the energy that it was coming from was just like, I have to do this. And if I didn't do my writing that day, I would feel so bad about myself, right? I'm grateful for that person who chiseled in this, this habit or this skill set of writing and um, discipline and habits and things like that. But if I compare the two uh, between vision and identity, I am living such a different reality now. I'm doing very similar things. Back then I would work out, I would eat good food, I would write but the energetics that I was doing it from were, were so different. Back then, I would be stressed, pressurizing myself, forcing myself, really coming from great intentions, but just feeling like I always needed to do more, right? And thinking about who I am and how I live now, it's so different. Like what I just described to you, it was so peaceful. I was doing everything from a very calm, relaxed, energetic, right? A very trusting place. And even the post that I wrote, the insight for what I should share came to me while I was walking to the gym, right? So I had no idea what I was going to even write about. I just knew I was going to go there and I felt like writing something really meaningful, you know? So the reason I wanted to share all this with you is as it relates to vision and identity and purpose and personal branding slash like being your own business, being in the business of being you, the energe the subtle energetics, the nuanced energetics really, really matter, right? So start to catch yourself when you're operating from uh, uh, an energy, an emotion 
that doesn't feel like the one that's part of your vision, right? And this is how you start to rewire your reality. Because sometimes it's not these specific things like go to the gym four times a week, write a daily blog post, or something like that, right? Eat really healthy today. Sometimes it's not even the goals that matter towards this. It's actually the feeling. How are you feeling during these experiences, right? So to compare like 2018 Thailand Alicia and 2024 Mexico Alicia, we're in totally different realities, but I'm actually doing a lot of the same things. But I just enjoy them in such a different way now because of the person, the woman that I have become, right? And this is like so important. And I really want you to be able to like sit with this and hopefully like pause this as I'm talking or at the end do some journaling with yourself. And it's like, what is my vision? And who do I want to become? And beyond, like beneath all of that, it's like, how do I want to feel as I'm doing all these things in my day to day, right? This hits every aspect of your life. And oftentimes when it comes to building business and, and a personal brand, it's the stuff that has nothing to do with business that's actually going to clean up a lot of your energetics, therefore making your mindset stronger, therefore making it so much easier to show up and operate and function and perform at your highest level, right? So it's often not even the business things that I'm talking with my clients about. Of course, we're building like brand position and really tweaking the offerings to match their lifestyle vision, their finance goals, and, and how to tweak and refine the messaging to sound exactly like them, right? But what we're talking about when they feel like they've stumbled or sabotaged or slowed down or are not progressing as much, we're really not talking about any of that stuff. We're talking about how are, your, how are you being in your relationships? How are you loving yourself? Like how, how, is there any memories or situations from your past that have been coming up and we need to clear those experiences, right? And so that's why I love that I get to do both sides of this work with the people I'm helping to build their brands. It's like, we do the deep evolutionary personal development leadership work, which I think is like 80% of the work. And we get to do that 20% around, let's build the structure, the frames of reality, the message, the vision around that brand and how it's gonna impact the world, right? We get to do that work too. And I think they're so connected. Let's talk about the connection point of vision and identity, right? I think I touched on it briefly in the intro. I really want to kind of like have a full conversation around this with you. Identity is how you see yourself, your self image, how you feel about that self image and who you are in this moment met with who you are becoming as well. And so that's kind of what identity is. And vision is the future cast of what you see for yourself and even for the people around you. If you have like a partner, family, whatever, things like that, right? So vision is like the future cast of, of your entire all areas of your life and what you're stepping into. But the identity is more like the core of who you are, who you're becoming, your character, your essence, your heart, your soul, right? And so the reason that knowing your identity and knowing your vision are so key is because when you have both, it kind of gives you this sense of direction and it kind of builds this natural momentum into your life, right? So 
you know what you're moving towards, you know how to prioritize your schedule, what you're saying yes and no to, you know how to navigate big choices in your life because you can see clearly what will add or complement the vision and your identity that you're building or what will take away or distract you, right? And then can you have the discernment to make some of those tough choices? So that's why I think vision and identity are like so connected and they get to be, I want you to take this on for yourself as well, that it gets to be a very fun, playful self-exploration, sort of like experiment for your life, right? This is like a lifelong thing, right? So it's not about getting it perfect or knowing every single thing. You don't even need to have a 10-year vision or a 20-year vision if you don't want, right? It's like work with your system, your energetics, your body, your mind, and how you operate the best and start to trust that and allow yourself to create in the way that you create the best, right? So if you are visual, you see things, then double down on that, right? Build space for seeing. Uh, if you're a feeler like me, build space in your life to feel stuff, right? If you're a knower, a hearer, a sensor, any, like all of these, if you imagine things, have you built space into your schedule and your life to be able to let these things move through you, right? Because if you're constantly go, 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 or stress, 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 stressed, or num, 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 you don't have space in your body, your system to let these things emerge naturally, right? And I do believe when we're all operating from our natural state of alignment, passion, love, flow, creativity, that naturally you gain a sense of identity, a positive one, and naturally you gain a sense of vision that moves you into the future, right? I think this is our natural state. So if you aren't operating like that, then that's your sign to get yourself back into your own rhythm, your own body, your senses, right? Because these are all senses, how we sense our vision. And if you are someone like me, who's already spent years and years cultivating a lifestyle of operating from identity and vision evolutions forever and ever, amen, dot com, <laughs> then I celebrate you. I know how fun this is. And at this point, it's really about the subtle tweaks, subtle tweaks, subtle tweaks, right? Most of the time at this point, it's these really subtle things that create the big energetic shift day to day, right? And then sometimes you'll have a big thing that comes up again too, right? So don't sabotage yourself if you've already created a lifestyle of owning your identity and your vision and creating them every single day, sometimes we can start to sabotage it and say, oh, this is too easy, or oh, I'm not challenged enough. Yeah, we just sabotage it because the mind is a funny thing, right? It's like, oh, I have to wreck this because I want something to work on, right? And if that's the case, what you need to do is actually make your vision bigger. Your vision got too small and that's why you don't feel a sense of challenge or your identity got too current so you don't feel that sense of challenge right people like us we love a challenge not in the way of making life hard or making things more complicated than they need to be simply in the way of we feel so lit up and alive when we're working on something bigger than ourselves right so this is when vision turns into self-actualization because now you're no longer just creating your vision to make your life better. You're here to create your vision that's going to make many, many people's lives better. And how freaking cool is that, right? So find where you are at in all of this and start to take action on it every single day. Um, simply just write like vision on your journal and start to stream of consciousness. 
and do it every day until it starts to shift into things that feel very positive and um, inspiring and forward momentum based, right? And then identity, do the same. Like, this is my favorite journal prompt, actually. I'll give it to you here. What part of myself is it time to fully own? And then just... If you are building a personal brand and you desire to grow it to six and seven figures, let me know. I have the spicy brand authority checklist. I'd love to send that to you if you are working on really refining your messaging to sound just like you. And honestly, I just want to say I'm very grateful. Grateful you're watching this. Grateful to share this transmission with you and excited for the next vids that are coming up. And I'm gonna continue this series and frame it around identity for now until I feel like we've said everything we needed to say about identity. And then we'll move on to what makes the most sense next. So this is kind of how I operate. Very feeling based, very in the moment, connected to the bigger vision. And I'm so excited I get to share all my many, many, many years of, you know, trauma healing meets personal development, leadership training, and business strategy work with my clients since 2011 and share it with you here on YouTube. So let me know in the comments what landed for you here, if you had a takeaway, if something made sense for you. And let me know also in the comments if there's something specific around identity and vision you want me to touch on in the next video. And we'll just continue to compound these little um, skill sets and mindsets that we're learning here. So you can run with it, take action, and start to see some shifts and transformation in your life.